Hey everyone, welcome back to the OC Hive My channel. It's Vic, and I am joined by Sparky for round four of our modern FM. How we doing? This is table one with Victor yourself on scan and John on Titan. We saw him in one of the earlier rounds. John's gonna lead on Forest and Expedition Map. Looks like he won the die roll. Vic, you had it rolled up. Tell me how it feels. Uh it always feels great. Uh certainly never never feels bad to be able to scam your opponent. Thank you, Wizards, it, for banning it, the wrong elemental. In this specific instance, when you can only hit what looks to be a one ring? I can't uh, tell what that card was. It was an expedition map. It was a second expedition map. Copy. Now uh, do you think it's best to... You're just trying to get the threat into play? Is that why you're using the not dead? I highly consider not bringing it back just because I wasn't getting full value. But the idea of a five-turn clock plus any other creatures that come into play, just shortening the amount of turns that are available, was yeah, it more looks valuable like, to me. It looks like I can see a Delphi Voidwalker in your hand. I think that's what you're deploying here. Yep. So, yeah, you're just putting the clock to him, making sure he doesn't have it. That should be an exile, but... Unless he's doing it in response. He, um, he did it in response. Uh, yeah. He specifically said that when we were in play at that point. Finding the bounce land. Uh, I don't think we're that far off. I'm not sure how the clock's going to work, but we can get super close to the possibility that he might actually be, be able to either tighten or you kill him. Yeah, so it's certainly something to consider. And with no main board... Uh, moon effects for me. I, I know I have to to put pressure on because I'm not interacting with shutting off his lands. Yeah, you just this game. You just got to start the race, and you already have him down to eleven. Or no, no, the math, the math should be ten. You're right. Uh, nine. I'm bad at math. Thought sees. We see amulet Tolaria West. Take the only card you can. That gets exiled. If anyone wants to know fun trivia effect, Urza Saga is my least favorite land in all of Magic. I I do enjoy it right now. I think it is one of the, the interesting lands. I think between Titan and Hammer and a couple other fun decks that revolve around like the bauble type artifacts, I've been enjoying it. I didn't play Modern during the time uh, of the Astrolabe and all the Urza decks and stuff like that. I think that might have been a different time with Oko and whatnot, but I am enjoying what it's doing right now. No, it's it's certainly a, a, gr a great land, and it, it, it's awesome to have it in the format. Um, playing against it, not so much, but I, I do understand the importance of it and what it allows these decks to do to be powerful, so... As much yeah. as I want to complain about it. Being able to have to play on both sides of the field between the uh, making the constructs that exponentially get larger the amount of artifacts you have in your deck and being able to find the artifacts in your deck, I do think it it's it's an all-in-one card. I, th I think it, it I'm going to say it's near perfect design. Obviously there have been other designs that have been close, but I have been a fan of Urza Saga. Uh, we have the push for the blockers, so you're going to be getting in for the whole Monty here. Putting him down to what I think is going to be two. Thoughtseize reveals Slayer Stronghold. Yeah, just trying to make sure that the coast is clear, that it, nothing has been drawn that was good, especially because we're getting down to the last few turns of how this game... You know, is going to end up turning out. So that's a that's a hundred percent fair. If he gets another uh, amulet here, he has the bounce land. He can make six mana easily, and then potentially kill you. So I do agree with the thoughts he's on that on that line. Uh, let's see what he can do with his mana. Unfortunately for me, if I remember this turn correctly, he did uh, get a very nice payoff card here. But I'll I'll make sure to. Uh... Hold my call out just until. So my predictions here is it has to be Titan or it has to be One Ring. Those are the, those are the really really the only things. Of course, um, <laughs> this is a card that is hasn't been my favorite in uh, Modern relatively recently, just because of the decks that it bails out, which is mostly Tron, one of my least favorite decks in the format. But ooh, 
waited until your turn. That could have been really bad there. Yeah, that that could have been uh, certainly not. Given given the cards that were in his hand, I understand. He, he has per- he has protection there, right? So it, it's not like you're going to ping him with the orc. But like making an orc bigger, making things big enough to block is pretty huge. Um, so he packs for the titan. He's got the land. He already has the slayer stronghold in play. Let's see. Let's see how he does it. So. If I'm him, I'm making the four mana. Pick up my lands. Play the Titan. Boom. First step complete. The lands here I'm going to find. I definitely need Boros Garrison. And then I need something else. Yeah, I believe he, I believe he ends up going with... Uh... I, I, the name of the land escapes me, but the one that copied the amulets. Micah Sith Gardens? Yeah, there you go. Okay. Remember. That's fair. I know there are some options available. I don't remember all the lines by heart. Again, my knowledge of the lines is to just know when I'm supposed to pack it so in he, or kill something. So he finds the gardens and he finds the garrison. He gets one untap here, and then he has another untap coming. So he's going to pump the titan... Give it Vigilance and Haste. And float the mana with the Gardens. And he's going to use the Gardens to copy an amulet. Okay. So now he gets three untaps with his next thing. He's going to bash. Your life total is low enough. You can... Uh... uh Uh-oh. Okay. So... So this is honestly something that I did not I, see. I, I, I know you, you and I talked I, I, about it. We've talked about this, and um, once again, I am, I am noticing what's going to happen here. So he's going to make his mana uh, with the Sun Home and the Forest, and he's going to give his creature Double Strike. He has a 8-6 Double Striker attacking. Now, if anybody in the YouTube tube comments can pause it and tell me how Victor's going to win this game, I would be surprised. He blocks, and the wicked roll from the first strike damage does one damage to John, and John dies. Yeah, I, I won't lie. I was immediately, as soon as uh, John revealed the, the Titan, I thought about conceding, but for some reason I, I didn't, maybe just because, and... Um, luckily, that gave me the second to remember that the Wicked Roll is triggers upon for the, it entering the graveyard. For the YouTube audience, always play to your outs. Always play to your outs. Um, I can assume you're bringing in some amount of moon effects here? Uh, yeah, I brought in uh, two Maguses, one Blood Moon. From uh, somebody, sure. from John's side, I would like to see some amount of uh, graveyard, uh, not graveyard hate. I would like to see some amount of uh, enchantment hate, knowing that the Boguses and the Blood Moons are coming in. I'm not sure if he's running Dismember. We shall see. He does have a Besage you in his opening hand. It looks like Explore, Dryad, two games in a row? Two games in a row. Okay, cool. You hate uh, to see it. You really and you hop on your hypergeometric calculator, figure that math out for us real quick. Well, I'd like to thank Wizards for banning the wrong elemental again, but uh, I, I do accept my award. I mean, you kept seven. You didn't mull to it, so it wasn't that bad. It does look like you're a little land flooded in your hand, but you're getting in there, which is good right now. Um, John started with a grazer into a bounce land. I'm not sure. I did. Th- we did talk about this uh, separately off air, but I'm not sure. I like him playing the bounce lands out and leaving them in play because you do get more of an advantage of having them in your hand and being able to use them with the amulets. But he does slam down a one ring here, so it's probably the correct call. Let's just see if Victor's got the Orcish Bowmaster. Mr. I have it all rolled up. You know, sometimes uh, you just got to go down to your local convenience store and buy a lottery ticket and just uh, hope for the best. Cash it in. That's what we're cash doing. It, cash it right in. Yeah. Hey, sometimes you're the shit. Sometimes you're the fart. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, no Orcish Bowmaster. 
No. I'm going to draw off the one ring. That looked like a, a potential radiant fountain. Mount uh, Forest. And we're going to make another blocker. I believe we will not see one this game because I mistakenly just blanked on the idea that I should be keeping those in because of the one. Bowmaster? Yeah, just because otherwise it doesn't really do anything. It, sure, it gets bigger, don't get me wrong, for everyone at home. It, it, the, the, the ring just growing the, the orc, but it, it doesn't kill any creatures. It doesn't stop the titan from yeah. you know barreling you over. So it is on the weaker side, but I really from- kind of blanked on the fact that, hey... Sometimes they're just going to try to draw a bunch of cards and bury you in advantage, and the Bowmaster kind of punishes that effect. Agreed. I'm I'm in the camp, uh, having played a very small amount of Titan, that the One Ring is a fog effect. It buys you the turn in order to kill your opponent. Uh, John with uh, tapping the Besage for the Amulet, and then Radiant Fountain to gain some life. Uh, how do you feel about... Uh... <laughs> How do you feel about dice on uh, tokens that have words? Uh, please don't do it. Uh, you, you, I know it's. I know for a lot of newer players and stuff like that, sometimes it can be a struggle to remember that stuff. Uh, it's a bad habit just because I've seen plenty of people make bad or wrong decisions based on the idea that the dice was correct. So for you viewers yeah. at home, even if you're struggling with it, uh, just you know keep practicing and just keep trying to remember that stuff. Yes. If it's, if it's if not you counters, have, there shouldn't be dice. If you have a token that has words on it of what the token represents, you should be able to figure out what its power and toughness is. Um, Molten Collapse from you with a fetch land, turning on both modes. Very, very good. Ooh. Did not feel that great when I cast it in any way, though. No, I do think you're kind of under this, this one ring right now. I think he's taking advantage, and it did look like he drew another one. So... I think you're going to be under that for a little bit without any other threats. I'm not trying to make cards in hand for you. I would assume one to two. Three mana for Dryad. Not enough oh. for it to be good. Put it that way. Crumbling Vestige. Okay. So this gets him up to the number in order to cast his other one ring. I can get two cards there. Me looking at them hoping that they would morph into something helpful. Yeah. Terminate. Smart play. Heads up. Didn't want to have to terminate that, but the <clears> idea <throat> that Valakuts just start coming into play was not something I want to deal with at the moment. And then it looked like you just peeled a fable off the top. You get to increase your clock a little bit, or at least increase your mana flow with some treasures. And John just drawing one card with the one ring, going down to ten, draws another one ring. This is what I was saying about like their abil- ability to chain together the one rings and then like eventually just combo off. Yeah, it really is. A, the one ring is at its best currently uh, based on meta in, in Titan, just giving it everything that it, it truly needs to. So he can make, uh, uh, sorry to cut you off. He no, can make eight man this uh, sanctuary, it looks like. What can he do? Does he have a transmute? Does he have a Titan in hand? I'm not able to see right now. He's going to pact. I mean, he's got about 73 cards in hand, so the world's his oyster at this point, and that's how I felt in that game. Strong agree. Um, I also think that, depending on the number of lands he has in hand, I can't see. So he made four. He still has a land drop to play, and then you just know that you're dead to that. That's one of those situations where I I believe I only had a land in hand or just something so inconsequential that the game was the game was too far gone for that. I'd rather just save the clock and get back to it. Okay, so let's talk about this. You went to six, you kept Ragavan on the play. And it looks like you have a Shieldred. Is that your is that your goal here? To jam, to jam Shieldred as quick as possible? Yeah, Ragavan's, you know, your mana dork here. They have very little ways to deal with it. 
So you're largely going to be able to get some hits in and try to ramp, which is, you know, uh, great to be able to skip curvature. My main question is, did you pay po- full price for that Bitcoin? Uh, I did not. No, I stole it. Uh, so please uh, make sure to secure your crypto wallets. Otherwise, I will get it. Understood. But otherwise, uh, no, no. That was a generous donation by Calvin to create those tokens. So, um, shout out to him. so on John's side, he went saga into amulet and then he goes oh bounce lands into explore into slayer's stronghold i think he was looking for a specific draw there he does look like he's got a couple green cards unless they're the full art lands has the potential to make four mana next turn oh i'm sorry has the potential to make five mana next turn if he finds another amulet Nope, six. I can't do math. Urza Saga taps for a mana. He has the stronghold. He has two triggers from the bounce land. So, you're at five mana. I like the jam. I'm here for it. Make him have it. Yeah, One of the best cards in multiple formats right now. Shield for the Apocalypse. Four yeah, five like card. death touch. Do you want to draw cards? Get wrecked. And it shuts off the ring in his hand. Ooh. Because that's not a targeted ability. They just lose the life. That is that is correct. The protection uh, does not apply. Can there, you just so. tick that down to one? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I didn't I didn't realize that during the game, but I think you figured it out. Yep. Yeah. Well, I think because he was trying to represent he's floating a mana. Which is fair. Yeah. I mean, he Sec- could he could have easily. I would have let it happen to put it back to one. I would have been much better off. Oh yeah, you're you're less you're less dead to that if that happens. <laughs> so, potential for six mana here. I think he has a titan. The problem is, the stronghold has to get him there. He has one mana floating. What is he going to do with the one? To me, it looks like Growth Chamber, Growth Chamber, Titan, and I believe that's a Teleria West. Now, of note, he just lost two life. And he uses the... Oh my gosh. I won't lie, uh, that felt just as good as it looks. That was insane. Uh, you shouldn't have that token, correct? The The treasure should be gone. Because you paid um, four mana. You had five mana last turn, two treasure tokens, and the three mana to cast the shieldred. Uh, I believe you're right. I hope that uh, doesn't become relevant, because I hate making mistakes like that. So No, it's it's understandable. Let's see if any of that becomes relevant. So this is this is four mana. We're just shortcutting. The right place to pick it back up, buddy. Picks up the sanctuary, the crumbling vestige. Uses a green. Sanctuary, making another four mana. There should be four white there. He balked on the mana there. Or no. It was two white. He was right. If I were him, I would have kept the white floating with that two. In order to give my guy haste. Yeah, John's usually pretty good about... I mean, he literally does the action the exact intended way. So... Uh, Again, without without the mics, I'm not really sure what he's floating. Again, technical difficulties on our part. So he finds Red White there. And he does gain the life. I think that's pretty good here. 
Um, one, two. Oh, no. I think he missed it. I would have tried to leave the garrison untapped here if I'm going for anything. And you had the terminate upon target. Well, yeah, then. I had, I had not dead in K command there, so there, there wasn't really too much. Yeah, it doesn't, like, unless you were trying to do multiple things, it doesn't appear like you used the treasure token. I don't think the treasure token is going to be used in general. He's already played his lands. He didn't no, summon her back. Uh, so it's not. Upset about that, though. So it's not. And then you have the fatal push for that. And you're just getting in for lethal. GG's, everybody. That was round four. We'll be right back with round five. See you then. Don't forget to like and subscribe.